Okay. So, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Laura, Laura Holmes Franklin. You can also call me Laugh, there's my initials. <laughs> and I make videos about being your best self. Yeah. Explains a lot, doesn't it? Basically, how do you tune into your body, feel more amazing, get more stuff done? Today, we're doing a January favorite. Yay! I've been wanting to make consistent favorite videos for the longest time. I've been really bad at it, so I can't promise they're gonna come every month, but I'm going to try. Which brings me to my first favorite thing of this video, which is my planner. So, I don't know about you, but I love having a physical planner. I have experimented back and forth through the years, as I think we probably all have, with having a physical planner, just having it electronic, and then having both, and like, the challenge of that. And what my planner has now become is my vision book, my memory book, and my action plan all in one. And I freaking love it. And I am always looking for the perfect planner at the time of year when I need to buy a new one. And I have to say, I absolutely love this one. It's from Rifle Paper, as you can see. And I'm happy with the cover. It's not like I wouldn't necessarily say I chose it for the cover. It's more about the insights. And if you were there for my vision workshop that we did at the beginning of January, which definitely goes on my list of favorites, it was really awesome. We made our vision boards and talked about how we can vision more deeply and really make all the stuff happen or tune into the frequency where everything we want can happen. Um, I showed you the inside of my planner and how I use it and all the stuff. And if you want a video here about how I plan, what I do, all these like little things that you see going on in here, um, comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see that because that's actually a video I would love to make for you guys if indeed you want it and you think it will help you be the change and change the world, which I definitely recommend if you have a planner, like on your first page, remind yourself, like keep your vision board always with you. I just feel like, you know, often people make these vision boards, they stick them on their wall and like it's not really with you. What I've found that I love is to have a vision board in my calendar book that I constantly refresh to. So I've got the galaxy here because I like connecting to the science of the universe. I've got a sticker that says see the world. Um, I've got a little sticker here that says no excuses. And that like vibration of all these things through into everything I do. This one says we vibe higher each time we let go. Yeah, true that. Be the change, which is huge. So this planner is awesome. Um, my 2019 I feel is all about workflow and that balance between getting stuff done, taking actions, but also being in the flow and then really becoming one. That place where the right brain and the left brain, the analytical and the big picture, the feminine and the masculine can become one. They can support each other and not fight each other. Hence also why I'm here in Bali right now because I found right now it feels really good for me to be able to deepen myself into that place. When I'm in New York, it's awesome, but I can get really pulled into the more masculine harshness and the stress of just survival. And then that makes everything a little bit harder. And something I'd love to hear from you, if you struggle with that, what has worked for you, let us know, share it in the comments. Let's help each other to really tune into that place where we can create that flow, that abundance, that connection, and get things done to help bring forth more flow, abundance, and connection. So anyway, I'll scoot over here. So we've got a monthly view, which I love. And you can see here, stuck in my little stickers are the things I want to do. I stick in my little pictures after it's happened. So this is my trip to Peru in November. And not only does it help me remember what I did, but it also reminds me of all the beauty because it's so easy to forget that, right? It's like, on to the next thing, on to the next thing. What's the next thing I want? And, you know, part of the beauty of a favorites video is remembering the things you've been loving, remembering the moments, remembering like all the experiences that you've had and really letting yourself feel oh, 
like, oh, thank you. Like, that gratitude, that appreciation, rather than the like, next thing, next thing, next thing. So you have the weekly view. Barley in here, and then I, you know, write out the things for my week. Apparently, I want to make that into a whole video, so let me know if you want that. There's a lot more in here that I can show you. But anyway, this is the first on my favorites list. I love it. What's next on my favorite list? These. If you haven't heard of this company, focus on these. There we go. Four Sigmatic. Um, these guys are awesome. They have a great Instagram account and they are super supportive and actually sent me a lovely big box of all of their mushrooms to try and share with you. And they come in these little packets. I mean, there's an assortment of different things. These are my favorites. And they're basically mushroom. And there's like, this one's got field of mint extract, rose hip extract, Tulsi. I really recommend these. So I put those with hot water and then I mix them with coconut milk, which is my favorite milk. I don't drink dairy. Um, I don't have soy. And I don't really have nut milk because did you know that nuts tend to get toxic? And if they're very, very fresh, they're okay. And if they're sprouted, they're much better and more easy to digest. But in general, most nuts that we get, it's very hard to get them really fresh. And they're actually very hard to digest. So it's very challenging for your digestive system. So I much prefer coconut milk, which I can get in coconuts in New York. I make my own when I'm traveling. It can be a bit more challenging. But here in Bali, there are coconuts everywhere. And and most places will make their own coconut milk, although ironically enough, we're in this land of coconuts and a lot of the restaurants actually don't, they buy it, which I think is such a shame. Anyway, I choose the restaurants that do and bringing me on to my next favorite, ta-ding! So this little thing is actually not mine, it's my mum's, but I want to get myself one and this was a perfect moment to be able to trial it. So it's basically a mini blender and it is light, it is portable and look at this. Bing! I mean like, don't you think that's the coolest thing ever? And then it's got a little like boop and then you can like pour it. This is amazing. Um, it's not you know, the best. It's certainly not my Vitamix. It doesn't blend it to that level, but it is definitely good enough. And then if I poured it through a cheesecloth, which I do have one, or a nut milk bag and actually strained it, it would take out all the lumps. But I'm kind of like the lumps. I don't know. Is that just me? Is that weird? So anyway, this is my next favorite. I will put all the links to these products in the description box. And I now need to put this back in the fridge so that it stays. my next favorite. So these are bubblegum shoes. They're not made of bubblegum in actuality, but I like that they're called bubblegum shoes. Um, they're really dirty now. Sorry about that. But I love them. And, oh shoot, that's Eric. Uh, okay, one second. I'm gonna call him back. Although, I can't be too long because he's about to go to sleep in New York. Anyway, um, these are bubblegum shoes, they're amazing. They're basically jelly shoes, but they're cute. They happen, luckily, to match all the clothes that I brought, pretty much, and they have been so, what's the word when you can use them for everything? Uh, type in the comments, <laughs> that word. They're just, they, they're, they, they look nice when they're cleaner. <laughs> so I can wear them with a like nice outfit. I can also wear them, they've been to waterfalls, they've been on beaches, they've been walking me through mud and taking me to temples and you name it these shoes have been amazing the only thing I will say is that the insole isn't totally waterproof it's it's um, uh, material which is nice it feels good but if you get it wet it's really soggy and gross so I've learned that if you're gonna wade through a river take the insoles out first because otherwise you're gonna have soggy feet for the rest of the day but I love these check out bubblegum shoes 
Uh, they have so many different designs and styles and hopefully I'm going to get me another pair and uh, be able to share them with you. So yeah, loving these. Next on my favorite list is coconut oil. So mm, you can't get this brand unless you come to Bali and drive up this little road because the guy over there makes it and I have to say, it's blown me away hearing him talk about him making coconut oil, how passionate he is. Oh my God, I just saw this like, look. Can you see that? Focus. There's his little face in the coconut here. Oh my God, he's so cute. I will um, insert a little clip of him, but he's so passionate about making his coconut oil and it is just so good. And you see how it's clear? That's because of how he makes it. So basically, you kind of make it like coconut milk, like I just showed you the blender. So you put coconut meat, water, blend it up. And then, so he makes this big tub of it and then he leaves it in the sun and the sun basically like separates it. Hopefully I'm getting this right. And after 24 hours, the oil has risen to the top and all the other white stuff has kind of gone to the bottom and then he literally like spoons it off and puts it through a strainer and that's the coconut oil. It is so amazing, so clean, so pure. I kind of want to make it. Um, the difference with like most coconut oils is that they're usually made and they're heated so they're not done by hand, they're not left out in the sun. So they're heated and that's why they turn yellow. So I don't know how or why, I don't know all those facts. Maybe if you know, if you're a coconut um, oil expert, you can let me know. But I use this, I just put it on my hair to make it less of a frizz ball. Um, I put it on my skin. It's very good for you. It's naturally antibacterial. Um, I cook with it. I put it on my toast. It's basically, I mean, it's amazing. Coconut oil is the best. And I definitely recommend, if you're good cooking, only cook with coconut oil. So hopefully you like the taste and the smell. Some people don't, so it's a thing. But vegetable oil, canola oil, all that other hydrogenated oil isn't very good for you. If you ever go out to eat and you feel like an uh, upset belly at the end of it, it might be because of the oil. So that's something I always ask in restaurants is what oil to cook with? And if they don't cook coconut oil, I ask them to grill it or steam it or do something that doesn't involve the oil or maybe a little olive oil, but that's not the best either because that tends to oxidate. Anyway, just use coconut oil, it's easier. Next on my favorites list is this pen that goes with my calendar book. It is the Pilot GTEC C3. Yes, it's really skinny, it's black, it's smooth, and it's amazing for writing all my little notes on my book. Next is this Buddy Cream, which again, they make here in Bali. I don't think you can get it anywhere else, but those of you who are in Bali, you probably know this brand already. Natty's Herbal, sorry, there's a hair on it. Rose, uh, Body Cream Rose. I love the rose. Focus, there we go. And it is made of Ayurvedic base oil, aloe vera, beeswax, cocoa butter, spring water, seaweed, and rose oil, and it's amazing. So when I'm not putting my coconut oil on me, I will put this on me. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. And apparently they have classes on how to make it. So I'm thinking about maybe going. Let me know if you think I should go and vlog it and teach you how to make your own unless you're coming to Bali. If you want to come to Bali, also let me know. Oh my gosh, I'm asking you so much stuff. Um, okay, this little thing <laughs> is a pot that, um, I don't know what I had in it before, something else. I got it from my mum and I've been putting my Himalayan crystal salt in it. Very important, have good salt in your diet. This goes on everything, Himalayan crystal salt. If you don't already know about it, look it up, replace any other salt with Himalayan crystal salt. Next thing I'm loving is this candle. It's natural. It smells absolutely incredible. Definitely recommend avoiding candles made of petroleum and filled with all the like nasty, toxic, perfumey stuff. This one is pure and natural and it's also rose. Maybe there's a thing. Bring me to the last but one thing. This toothpaste, which is not toothpaste at all, it is basically baking soda toothpaste. The reason why I love it, 
Well, it's got all kinds of things in it, but basically baking soda, magnesium carbonate, sea salt, it's peppermint oil. It's very pure. Um, it has a list of all the things that it doesn't have in it. No SLS, what is that? Not sure, but I'm sure we don't want it. Um, no artificial sweeteners, no parabens. And it's small, easy to travel with, and it's basically like a powder. And um, I just really like it. So I don't use it all the time, but I use it a lot of the time. And if I'm like going on a little trip and I want something small and easy, I will take this. <laughs> Lastly, my favorite is favoriteest thing. Oh, no, there's one more thing, except I have to show it to you later. Okay, the last but one thing, for real, is this water bottle. I have been on a hunt for a good water bottle for so long, literally so long. And the best one I had found, I mean, I've been through my journey with water bottles because I would prefer glass because, hey, it's glass, it's really clean, obviously it's not plastic, refillable, etc. but then it's really freaking heavy. And I just can't handle it because particularly when I'm carrying all my other stuff and I like, I like to carry my things, I mean, I don't like to carry my things, but I like to have my things with me. Bottles for Earth, which I also love the name, dot com. Um, I did try to contact these guys because I was like, hey, I want to partner with you. I want to share about your bottle. It's amazing. And they didn't get back to me yet. So if any of you know them, I know they're in Bali, please connect me and I will try to reconnect and see if, um, yeah, if they want to share more, maybe we can do a giveaway with one of their bottles. So let me know if you would like that. And then the last thing, which I'm going to have to wait to show you, is these snacks that I've been loving that I love so much that I don't have any left because I literally can't stop eating them. So I was kind of like, I should stop buying them for a little while. But they are seaweed and coconut oil and they're crispy and they're delicious and they're amazing. And again, I don't know if you can get them anywhere other than Bali, but I really want to find out how to make them. So I will get me some because they're so good and I will share them with you. And then maybe one of you knows how I can make them because they're just so nice as I like. I don't, I'm not a snacky girl. I like to eat my breakfast and my lunch and my, you know, kind of like meal time. But in the evening, when I don't feel like a like meal meal, I might just have a little piece of toast or a little bit of rice porridge and a few of those, or maybe half a packet of the seaweed crackers. And they're just so nice, they're crunchy. Oh, crunch, is it just me? That crunch is so good. Anyway, that is gonna, oh, and this is also a favorite. This is my friend Ting. You can go follow her on Instagram, TingXTing. And this is Trust Tells the Story of Abundance. I love this. I actually bought this picture before I met her and then we ended up being really good friends and she's amazing, as is her boyfriend, Scott, who um, you will meet in the vlog when I get the vlog up and edited. So they're amazing, but Trust Tells the Story of Abundance and that is my vision for me, for you, for us. Because for us to change the world, we have to tune into that abundance, that feeling in our body where we are connected to infinite energy and that support and that like divinity and beauty of nature and let that come through and let ourselves be in that vibration of abundance and then let that change the world and not be doing it from the stressed out place and trying to change the world to a more loving place. It's like, no, we have to feel it first. So this reminds me to keep going in, to keep trusting, to keep connecting to that inner world of abundance so that we can create together the next level of outer expression of abundance for everything. So this month of February, we're gonna be moving in to some money magicking. I'm going to be leading my superhuman money course again it's going to be starting like later in February and my goal and my wish is that we can together connect in support each other to uplift our vibration our feeling of abundance what we can create in the physical world making it very real and really changing the money system defogging ourselves from all these illusions and all the like insane thoughts that we have had conditioned into us particularly in the Western world which is why it's so nice for me to be here in Bali right now and be really a f like away from that where the people are just so happy to just exist and it's like oh yeah 
that's what it's meant to be about. So anyway, that is coming. Get excited for that. Eric is digging me. I'm going to go call him back. I love you a lot. Thank you for being here. And um, definitely write me a comment. Please, please, please. Also, let me know if you have questions. The action ship is going to be coming back. The vlogs are coming back. It's all coming back in a whole new way, through a whole new way. And oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. Oh, we'll see you in the next